Why such a large number of fine if Jays inclined towards witchcraft and magic? Firstly, I want to make a small disclaimer. What I'm about to say doesn't mean that I think every INFJ is necessarily inclined towards this, nor that they will all hold the same beliefs. I will try to explain the cause and root of the tendency for some of them to engage in these activities and connect it with the MBTI type and some other psychological aspects of the type. This also doesn't mean that individuals of other types are not inclined towards similar things, but the point is to explain the cause and prevalence of the phenomenon. INFJ is a personality type where the SE function is in the last place, bringing with it certain challenges, but also characteristics that make INFJs unique and driven to navigate the real world in their own way, especially through their primary function and I. First of all, let's consider that INFJs belong to the Beta Quadrat. Beta quadra types prefer situations where the power structure and hierarchy are clearly defined according to consistent rules, minimizing ambiguities. Therefore, INFJs in this case will easily follow the rules of, for example, tarot card, reading, and some magical rituals. Beta quadra types are more confident analyzing realistic characteristics of situations, people and objects, rather than alternative scenarios. Hence, INFJs won't be overly interested in contemplating multiple scenarios, but rather in-depth analysis of a single final scenario, which is also done through intuitive readings. Beta quadra types are inclined to attribute to a new acquaintance traits that they have previously observed in other individuals belonging to the same group. This social intelligence and intuition in the form of a concrete pattern are used by INFJ when evaluating people around them and when connecting images of others in intuitive readings. Beta quadra types look for general rules explaining people, mechanisms and trends, rules that can be applied generally rather than going about things in a case-by-case -case way. Also, Beta quadra types are energized by competitive situations where analytical tactics are emphasized. This one is the key aspect regarding this topic. All the wisdom, knowledge and capabilities are not something INFJ possesses just to have. They apply these analytical tactics to the world, to people, to objects. Beta quadra is a quadra that has the ability to enforce force in their will. Some examples of ESTP types are ideal for explaining this claim. They are very adept at enforcing their will by using force on their surroundings. The underdeveloped SE and TI in INFJ do not allow them to easily exert force in the way their subconscious might desire. The subconscious of an INFJ is an ESTP, as you know. Let's also consider other aspects of the personality of some INFJs who engage in these things. Magic undermines the superstructure and gives meaning to being. In this way, a higher power and creator, believed to be ultimately good, are rejected. INFJs left to themselves in their own hands. INFJ creates, destroys, moves, spins, and so on. Beta types tend to be skeptical of another individual's potential for personal growth in terms of abilities and character and dislike being the subject of such a discussion by others about themselves. Due to these traits, INFJ's rituals always remain secret and the fear of influencing the well-being of others is absent. The emptiness that INFJs feel reminds them of the absurdity of existence and pain. They need to fill it with something. Magic gives a person a feeling of possessing existence and enjoying its fullness. Such a person strives for existence that seems to be lacking, not for the spirit that they are actually deprived, off because we can never be deprived of existence. 
Deprivation of spirit creates a sense of absurdity of life. Using magic doesn't gain power over oneself and eternity, but over nature and other humans.